In this video, we're going to learn about using the repeat until. Uh, we'll use a condition and we'll record and play sounds and we'll ask the user a question. All right, when we finish, this is how our program will work. When I run this program, spell software. The program asks me a question. Notice how it plays the question in as, as an audio. If I type the word in correctly, spell computer the program moves to the next question computer if i misspell the answer to this spell computer the program asks me to type the answer again when i get it correct the program ends all right so let's see if we can make that program so i'll leave this here i'll add another sprite And we'll start from scratch. All right. So to begin with, I'll add a when the green flag is clicked event. And from here, I'm going to go and I'm going to place a repeat until loop in my program. That's in the control tab. Repeat. There's a couple of loops here. Scroll down, scroll down. That's the one that I want. Repeat until and I'm going to place that in my program all right the next thing I'm going to do I'll leave this bit blank the condition that's the condition the condition goes here in this this space um, the next thing I want to do is just record my question so I'm going to go over to sound and I'm going to record a question that says spell design so here we go I need to play the sound I pop that here in my program and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the arrow here and I'm going to choose to record. All right, I'll just try and do this quickly. Spell design. Let me play that and see how that sounds. Design. All right, I just uh, play the whole sound. Spell design. Okay, I can choose the part of the file that the sound that I like. Spell design. All right, now I'm happy with that. Spell design. I'll save that. Now that file, that sound is called recording one. That's not a very good name. Uh, it's very generic. So let me change that to spell design. Okay, notice how I've used the capital D there, just to make it a little bit easier for me to read. Okay, now I have to come back to on my sounds tab at the moment. I need to move back to my code tab. So I point up here to code and I click on code. All right, now play sound. At the moment that pop sound is there, I need to pull down this list and I will see spell design. Spell design. All right, so now I want to place that piece of the program inside my loop. And after that happens, after the program says spell design, then what I want the program spell to do, design, better stop that, spell. <laughs> um, I want the sprite, I want Abby to ask me a question. And so for that, I need the sensing tab. And I'll grab that ask. Now, the question at the moment, the default question is, what's your name? So I will say, the instruction I will type in is, uh, this might be word and press enter. Spell design. Okay, so when that happens, Abby is waiting for me to type something. Spell design. Right. Now, I haven't put a condition in here to stop the loop occurring. So that's the next thing. So I've got the repeat until. We have recorded and played the sound. We've asked the user a question. Now, we need to tell the computer when to stop um, doing these, these steps in our program. And to get the condition, what we need to do is we need to go and a condition, condition is an operation. 
So I want to tell the computer to check to see if the answer that the user typed in is equal to design. So I am going to go to operators and I am going to look for the equals operation. That's the equals operator. Okay, now the word that I'm looking for is design. So I'll take away 50. 50 has got nothing to do with it. That's just the generic default uh, value that's placed in commission T, D, S, I, G, N. I need to make sure that that's correct. And I'm going to take that and you'll see how that condition is, the shape of the condition is such that it will fit nicely into this repeat until loop. And then what I need to do is I need to see if the user's answer equals design. And the answer, right, when the program asks me a question and the user types in their answer, the whatever the user types in is stored in the sensing tab under answer. So I take the answer and I pop that in there. Let's test this out. Cell design. design. All right, okay. Uh, let me get this incorrect first. Uh, they're fast. Spell software. All right, that's occurring. There's a little glitch. Let me just see if I can fix this up. That's occurring because my other sprite is still working. Let's just ignore this. This is a bit of a glitch in the video. All right, let's try that again. Spell design. Okay, so if I type in a word here, A, B, C. Spell design. Not correct. Okay, now if I get it correct, D, P, -E S, I, G, N. That's good, it works. Okay, so from here, what I would do next is I'd repeat that same process. I'd go and I would get another loop, repeat until I go and make another recording and ask another question. So that when the first question is finished, uh, the program can just move on to the second question and so on. Okay, thanks guys.